Understanding tank weak points begins with armor physics. Angled surfaces deflect shots, while flat areas like hull turret rings or lower glacis plates are critical vulnerabilities. Modern tanks use composite armor, but even advanced designs have structural weak spots. This 3D model shows how shell penetration depends on angle, thickness, and armor type, keys to defeating any tank. Soviet designs like the T-3485 exemplify effective sloped armor, but their flat turret rear and thin lower hull remain vulnerable. The IS-7's pike nose deflects frontal shots, yet its side armor below 100 mm can be penetrated by most Tier 8 guns. Key insight, Soviet heavies sacrifice side protection for frontal strength. Flanking is essential. The Tiger II's 185mm frontal armor seems impregnable, but its flat turret, cheeks, and cupola are critical weaknesses. Panther's 100mm lower glacis becomes penetrable within 300 meters. German tanks prioritize ranged combat. Closing distance exposes their flat surfaces. Pro tip, heat rounds bypass angled armor, making them ideal against Panther's mantlet. The M26 Pershing's tall silhouette exposes its lower plate, while the Type 5 Heavy's flat 260mm armor lacks angling. American mediums rely on gun depression, creating shots at their thin turret roofs when hull down. Japanese Super Heavies sacrifice mobility for armor, but gold ammunition penetrates their flat surfaces regardless of thickness. On Himmelsdorf's urban terrain, we flank an IS-7 to hit its side armor, then pivot to a Tiger II's turret weak spot. The final showdown against a Type 5 Heavy demonstrates gold rounds penetrating its flat hull. Remember, weak point knowledge combined with terrain use creates unstoppable players. Your key to victory lies in these critical hit zones.